Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Uh, make sure you have uh, green beer or something today. Um, make sure you wear some green. <laughs> that way you don't get pinched, right? And listen, uh, last week I mentioned that I was going to be starting a brand new series called The Secrets to Wealth. And today is actually going to be the first episode of that. I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys today. Um, just to teach more about money and how it relates to our life. Not, you know, dollars of the actual currency itself but more in terms of how to you know, get out of debt faster, how to save more money, and um, just really get ahead in life is my whole goal with this series. So, and today I'm actually gonna start pretty basic. Um, it may seem, um, like I said, it may seem pretty basic um, or obvious, but uh, hear me out because um, obviously we gotta start with a good foundation, right, and work our way up so we can make the best decisions possible in life. And would you believe me if I asked you this question? Is it possible for most people to be a millionaire in their lifetime, either by retirement or maybe even sooner? And that's something I hope to help you guys um, uncover throughout this series. It's just really that belief that it can be done. Um, and so today, what we're going to start with is budgeting. And really what I want to do is just, um, again, start with the basics and work our way up. So um, I would say there's really three reasons why people... Um, don't necessarily succeed financially, especially long term. And those are just because they don't have a plan, they don't have edu the right education, or they don't have a guide or coach. Right? So the plan is kind of what we're going to talk about today with the budget and um, just being able to know what's coming in, what's going out, and being able to keep track and things and updated. That way we're making the best decisions possible. Um, education, you know, I went to business school, took a lot of finance classes, accounting classes, basically learning how to, uh, you know, manage other people's money, but not necessarily for myself. And so I know this is just something that's not really taught in schools, right? And so that's my whole hope with this series is to be able to do that. And then the last thing uh, with a guide or a coach, you know, that could be um, anything from someone who's helping you personally or just, again, having a budget and other things physically on paper or digitally that could help you stay on track. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. You know, with a guide, you could just hop in your car and head west if you're trying to get to California, say from Ohio, where I'm from. But, you know, you got to know what part of California you're going to, if you're going to make pit stops or detours. Um, so all those things you got to know, that's which is why a GPS is helpful, right? That's exactly what a budget and these other things I'm going to talk about in this series can do for people. Um, so what I want to do, uh, just a couple quick budget statistics, actually. Um, you know, one out of three people do not have a budget, which honestly, maybe this is a little pessimistic, but I expected that to be a higher number. Um, you know, that many people don't have one, but, you know, I kind of wonder how often do people update their budget, or is it written down, or is it just kind of kept in their head as numbers? Um, so... That's kind of where I'm, I'm going with this to start out. And so what I'll do, I'll just show you guys uh, two quick things that I use um, for budgeting. And, you know, obviously everyone's different. And they could use whatever they want. That works for them. Um, but here is one I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen. Um, it's actually an Excel document, as you can see. And so this is really nice. I like this one because it's got these graphs and the percentages. So it shows you, obviously, your income versus your expenses and what's left over. And then it's just broken down into categories, right? So housing, um, kind of got our rent, our utilities, groceries, um, transportation with our vehicles and gas and maintenance, savings, you know, even entertainment. So if you've got like a PlayStation Plus subscription, right? And that's like 60 bucks a year. So that breaks down to five bucks a month, right? So listing all of that stuff out. And of course, debt payments, what we owe insurance premiums of all different kinds and then of course you know other like restaurants gym etc etc and of course you could fill in whatever is uh, most relevant to you and which is obviously specific to your situation but one of the main reasons I like this is just because we can update the numbers as we go and change them as we please so let's just say just to change a number I'll change taxes here to 800 and you can see there updates are balanced updates the percentage of our income being um, spent towards whatever um, so that's super helpful. Very easy to update as we go. Um, another one that I like to use, it's more paper-based. So I'll go ahead and switch over to that now. Um, here's what that looked like. Let me uh, go ahead and blow this up so it's a kind of full screen here. There we go. 
And so this one's nice again because you could print it out and it's on paper. You could write on it, which is super helpful just because you know, if just something happens in our minds and we put thoughts, numbers on paper and write it out um, in terms of memory and just retention and things like that. So it's nice to go through here and update things. Uh, maybe you could keep it on your nightstand or refrigerator or something so you always have your goals in mind. But this one's got even more categories broken down than the previous one. So, you know, obviously with housing, um, groceries, you know, educational expenses, child care expenses, charitable giving, transportation again with our vehicles, and then obviously insurance, debt, you know, entertainment and leisure, as well as savings and taxes. And this one's also nice just because you can add it up, you know, break down between your living expenses versus your other expenses, which might help you identify priorities and, um, you know, where you could cut things out or what needs more attention, right? And then, of course, what you've got left over if there's a shortfall. So help you identify those issues. So, yeah, that's kind of my two things that I use. Um, really, you could use whatever is good for you. If you would like either of those two things um, that I just showed you, I'd be more than happy to send them over to you via email or something like that if you want to use them for yourself. Um, again, it's really up to you. The important thing is that it's written um, down, either at, at the very least digital, but I still think paper is king when it comes to stuff like this, just to keep track of it. That way it's in the front of your mind, so you're working towards your goals and getting those accomplished, right? So it's important to have it written, and it's important to uh, stay up to date with it and any changes in life that occur to uh, adjust for those on your budget. So um, that's really all I have to say on that. Like, again, I wanted to keep it pretty basic to start, and we're going to work our way up from here uh, now that we have a stronger foundation to work off of. The important thing is just to have it and to review it. So I hope that was helpful um, in some way, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.